In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Parcel Panner order tracking Shopify app. So first things first, go down to the link in the description and it should take you to this page here. And from there, you can go ahead and click on the install button here. So click that and then it will open up your store. Go ahead and click install and that should be ready to go on your store. So now that we've installed it on our store, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is add a tracking page. And it's quite easy to go ahead and do that. So what you want to do is go here and you should see they've generated you your own tracking URL. And you want to make sure that this first part of the URL is your domain if you have one. They might put it as your Shopify domain. Make sure it's your actual domain rather than the My Shopify one. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and just copy that there. And we're going to go ahead and go to our online store. And we're going to go down to where it says Pages. And now inside of Pages, we're going to go ahead and add a page. And we can either go ahead and put the tracking into here and the link in here, or we can just directly add it to Navigation. So if we want to do a custom embed, we could do it by creating a new page and calling it, you know, tracking page, something like that. But I'll show you how to do that later. What we can do, which is easier, just go to navigation and go to main menu here. Click add menu item and call this something like track my order. Go ahead and paste that link in there. Click that there and that should be the app sorted out. Save that and that should now link to the page so we now want to go ahead and press i've done this and it should be ready to go now next up, we want to go ahead and customize the shipping notifications here so we can go ahead and click this button that says customize notifications and then we've got these different notifications that customers will get and we can turn them on if we want to and we can also edit the template now for this you're going to have to go ahead and actually upgrade your plan but i'll talk about the plans later so we can go ahead and find this one here, for example, or any of these, and we can go ahead and press Edit Template. And it's going to open a simple editor up here, and it's just, we can simply go ahead and change it out. So we've got our sender info here, so this is your store name and the email that you send from. I'll tell you how to verify that in a bit. We've also got our header, so you can go ahead and add a logo in here. You can change the logo width, you can change the store name, and you can also change the go-to URL. We've also got our social stuff here, so we can go ahead and add some social logos. We can um, put that on there and have the social logos there. And we can go ahead and change the footer. We can also change stuff like the display, so the alignment, and also the colors. We can go ahead and change them in here quite easily. Now, in terms of the content here, we can go ahead and change stuff like the email subject line. So this is what's going to be sent to their email, and this is what it will say. And this here is called a dynamic tag. So where it says order number, this will change to their order number. You can also add other variables like the carrier name, the customer's name, you know, all that kind of stuff, which will change dynamically based upon the customer's unique details. Down here, we've got our order tracking. So this is basically going to be the text. So you, first of all, you've got your heading, which is this bit here. And you've got a description. You see there's a dynamic tag in here. And after that, you're going to have your text down here. You've then got your button here, which you can change the text to. And then this is going to go ahead and, once they click the button, send them to the tracking page. You've also got some text down here that you can change if, they, if you want to give them, you know, maybe the tracking code in here so they can track it on a different website. And then you've got the items that they've actually purchased here. You can have that on or off. And you've also got product recommendations, which you can also, you know, upsell them. And you've got a discount upsell as well. So if they put their um, email in, they can go ahead and get a discount or they can put a discount code in there. You can go ahead here and actually look how it is on mobile and desktop like that. And then you can go here and you can actually click on all the different notifications and change them. When you're ready, press send a test email and that will send a test email to your email and you can make sure it all looks okay and it's formatted properly. We've got a few settings here that we can change, such as update tracking link in Shopify. So that will basically automatically change it on their order. You've got send shipping tracking events to Shopify. And you've also got uh, add tracking link button to order page. So basically, if they go and look at their order status page, 
it will have a tracking link on there as well. Now we also have this feature here called drop shipping mode and this will basically turn off Chinese origin stuff. So if it, you, you're shipping from China, for example, it's going to hide that it's shipping from China and it will only start showing the tracking once it has reached the UK. So it'll look, or the UK or whatever country you're sending to, so it'll look like it's shipped natively. So you can turn that on and this will mean that there will be like a five to seven day delay on updating the tracking. So you'll definitely need to have good customer service for this, but it means that it won't look like it's come from China. You can also go ahead and change your preferred language here. And then we've got courier matching. So um, if you use the same courier each time, you can just turn on a specific one. Or if not, um, you can go ahead and enable a load of these and it will automatically detect what carrier you're using based upon the tracking number. So if you enable all of these, then or, or the ones that you generally use, because there's a thousand, so you don't want to do them all. But if you enable the ones you generally use, it will be able to match it to the tracking number, which allows you to keep them updated on the website. Next up, we've got analytics. And analytics here, you can just see uh, stuff like your performance, your valid tracking, things that went wrong. Uh, and you can just see it all here. It's pretty useful to look at in case you need to improve on anything. We've also got integrations here. So you can integrate all of this into different uh, apps and stuff. So maybe if you want to send it with your Klaviyo email marketing, or you want to integrate it into your customer support, or you want to send it to PayPal, or that kind of thing, you can go ahead and do it here. We've also got webhooks, and maybe you have your customers on Discord or something like that. You can go ahead and send them a webhook that their order has been updated and sent, or maybe you can send it to your team. So for example, when ship status is uh, for example failed then you can send a webhook to your uh, server or something so that you can check why maybe email the customer you've also got your API key here if you need to use that for any reason but again you're gonna need to upgrade your plan so over here if we go to billing we can have a look at the different plans you can start a seven day free trial for each of them and depending on how many orders you do the pricing changes just like this um, but the better plans have better features, obviously. You know, you've got translating, you've got PDF export, you've got advanced integrations, you can remove the branding so it looks better, that kind of stuff. Start off with maybe this one here, you get a free trial, and then go up here if you need it, I'd say. If you use the link down below, then you should get a discount, and there's, there should also be a discount code in the description as well for the app if you want to go ahead and use it. Lastly, you can customize your tracking page here. All of your different things, you've got your appearance, languages, shipment status, estimated delivery date, product recommendations, SEO, tracking page URL, and then you've got your custom CSS. But that's basically how you go about using the app. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped.